Hey guys, it's I, Hitsuko. So today, it's a little different. We're not playing video games. A friend suggested that I take the rice purity test, right? Test out how pure of a person I am. Now, I am going into this pretty much blind, but I heard some of the questions are kind of wild, right? We're going to take this test to determine how pure and how innocent I, Hitsuko, am. Oh, yeah. Held hands romantically. Yes. I've held hands romantically with the uh, the opposite sex, if you will. Been on a date. Yes, I've actually been on a few dates. I'm not going to say what. It's not a lot. Like, I can literally count on maybe, I think, probably like under 10. Been in a relationship. No, I have never been in a relationship, which is interesting. I, I do. I have dated. I don't currently date because busy and all that stuff. And it's a lot of work, right? But I have dated, uh, in college specifically, uh, several women. But never for me to be like, yo, what a boyfriend, girlfriend, right, guys? Like, so, no. Dance without leaving room for Jesus. What the f***? To, okay, hold on, hold on. I got, this is going to take a while for me to remember what that means. So, like, you know, right up close? I don't know. I don't think I've ever danced with another person is a thing i don't know how to first of all right like i probably should learn i know that i, don't, I remember the very 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 basic steps of is it the waltz i don't remember but it's like you know where you hold hold on god am i actually gonna do this okay okay so it's like uh it's like in all the movies right the dance they do you left hand on the hips hand holding her hand here and then you just go is it, it, it imagine a box on the floor right and you go up oh, Right, down, right, all that stuff, right? I That's literally the only dancing that I have ever learned. But I have never danced with an actual person. I've done dancing just by myself. Mostly, honestly, mostly me acting like an absolute fucking fool, let's be honest now. So probably no. Kissed a non-family member. Oh, these are, these are getting really uh, personal really quickly, I'm going to be honest now. Yes, <laughs> I have kissed a non-family member. Kiss a non-family member on the lips. Yes, French kissed. Oh, God. Dude, these are getting really very specific. Have I French kissed another person? That, <laughs> it's interesting that it says, it goes from, have you kissed anyone, a non-family member on the lips? And it goes, have you French kissed them? W what happened to the non-family member? Like, they just suddenly dropped the non-family member there. Now, I'm not from Alabama, so I've never kissed. A non-family member on the lips. On the cheeks, right? That's usually what you would do, right? Oh, uh, have I French kissed, though, personally? Uh, dude, this is... Oh, got it. This is really embarrassing. Like, before the stream, I was I was like, all right, we're just going to have a, a beer, and this is going to be a very chill stream, and we're just going to dive right into it. I'm not... I, I am not sure anymore how much of my own personal life I'm willing to share with the stream. But back to the original. Have I French kissed? Yes. God, that's real. French kissed in public. No, 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 no. That's that. I'm not a... Kissed on the neck. Yeah. Wait, like, kissed another person on the neck? It kissed... Well, I mean, I guess it... it, it, it... Kissed horizontally? What the fuck does that mean? Like, okay, so vertically? Horizontal? So, like, kissing... F oh... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Given or received a hickey. I have never... Wait. F I, I gotta go back to my college days on whether or not I have given or received a hickey. I don't remember, man. I'm gonna be honest. I may have given a hickey. Done some kissing on the neck, right? I don't know if it's left a... We're gonna mark as... Yes. Kissed or have been kissed on the breast. I have never been kissed on the breast. I, however, have, um, I'm trying to say this in the most gentlemanly way possible, because I don't want y'all to look at me like I'm, you know, some degenerate, which, I mean, okay, let, admittedly, I'm a little bit of a degenerate, I, I, but we're not going down that far deep into the path, right, guys? So, have I, yes, I have kissed on the breast so kiss someone below the belt 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. No. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Cause I'll be honest, I don't know what the fuck to do down there, right? If unless it's with the my certain designated tool for down there, I don't know what the fuck to do with my mouth and tongue down there, right? I've never asked my partner to kiss me down there. I heard it could be good. I don't know personally. Kiss for more than two hours consecutively? No, what? Because it feels like. What do you mean by kiss for more than two hours consecutively? I've never kissed for more than like a few seconds, maybe like a minute or so. Because like I'm like, what's the what's the fucking point, man, of swapping spit with someone for two fucking hours? I got other shit to do, man. Like a couple minutes, bing bam, done. We're done. Move on. Play the game involving stripping. Oh fuck. It's a yes. Now here's the thing, right? In college, you hang out with friends. Your friends invite some girls over. You have a couple beers. You have some fun in the dorms, and then you play a little strip poker. I think that's the most straightforward way of situations of that happening. Let's be honest. Now, seen or been seen by another person in a sensual context? I mean, yeah, of course. What the fuck? Masturbate. <laughs> oh God. Yes, masturbate to a picture or a video. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, dude, look at me. I got anime figure. I got an anime sticker here. I got an anime fucking keychain here. I'm wearing an anime shirt. I know I'm very well versed in that sort of culture. Let's just say that. Let's let, we'll leave it at that. Masturbate while someone else was in the room. That is such no. I've never done that. That is wild. If people have done that, wait, like they aren't aware. Like okay, so like you're 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 in you're in the room, right? And let's say in front of your computer, right? Because I'm sitting right here. And then there's another guy right over there, back turned. He's not aware of you, and you just go like you know, start working your magic on yourself, like that, or is it like you know, you? And your significant other in the same room and you guys watch each other because that's very different right when these two things occur because one is obviously you know you and your partner are well aware and looking at each other while you work your magic the other is uh, some poor sap doesn't know what's going on behind them that's very different right overall no i've never done it either been caught master oh fuck dude if i've been ever caught master i would I think I would literally jump off my fifth story apartment. Masturbate with an inanimate object. Oh, 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 I see. Okay. No. I'll, I'll be honest, man. You, the good old hand and lotion is very, very price efficient. Seen or read pornography, pornographic material? Yeah, I, I have. Massage or been massaged centrally? I don't think so, right? Maybe I'm just like not a foreplay type. I'm pretty fucking straightforward, right? I'm like, let's get the job done, boys. Okay, that's not okay. Bad, bad, dude. I am literally heating up right now from embarrassment. But yo, I have never been massaged or massaged someone sensual. Gone through the motions of intercourse while fully dressed. <sighs> yes I've had intercourse. I don't think I've ever been like fully dressed, like where you just you know pants shoes socks shirt and everything and you just go like whipping it out and go like hey what up right i don't think i've ever done that i think i've had situations where i have only had my shirt on but if, if we're going on like fully dressed no i have had like you know a shirt on undress or have undressed by a member of the preferred sex yeah yeah okay yeah yeah shower with the no i have never but here's the thing there was this one instance in college. We're obviously going to use a fake name. Let's say her name is uh Sarah, right? Me and Sarah try to get things going in the shower. It unfortunate. It uh, <laughs> the water. Oh God, the water doesn't work well with the piping down there, and I couldn't, you know, get all things in working condition because of the water. Oh, fuck. I just realized. It just said shower. It never said about intercourse in the shower. Okay, so, well, uh, a little fun fact, I guess, for you guys. I've never had intercourse in the shower, but I have showered with... Uh... Yeah. Fondled or had your butt cheeks fondled? <sighs> yes. Fondled or had your breasts fondled? I... <sighs> okay, so let's go back to the first one, all right? Let's... Fondled or had your butt cheeks fondled? I've... Oh, fuck. Hold on. 
I think I've actually had my butt cheeks slapped or spanked a couple of times from my, we'll say Sarah again. And I have fondled Sarah's butt. Fondle or had your breast. I've never had my breast fondled. I, okay. I've had, I've fondled breasts, which they're very nice. I'm going to be honest. Fondled or had your genitalia. <laughs> Bro, they're just on these, man. Had or given blue. Oh my God. I've had blue balls. And I got to be honest. To all the dudes in chat, it is painful. Like, it is actually horrendously painful to have that type of pain down there, right? And I've had, I have like a bajillion cavities, right? Terrible dental hygiene as, since I was a kid. Well, when I was a kid, right? And toothache, a lot of people say toothache and tooth pain are some of the worst pains. And I gotta say, having blue balls is really bad. It's incredibly painful in an area that's, you know, very important and, you know, sensitive. Had an orgasm due to someone else's manipulation. What the fuck does that? Oh, like, uh, you know, when the old reach around, right? All right. Yes. Sent a sexually explicit text or instant. I've never done that. I don't think. Okay. Maybe it's just me, but I'm like super paranoid at sending that type of stuff over the phone waves because you see people getting fucking leaks here and there. I'm like, I don't believe in sending news or asking for news at all. And I, I would not want them. I think like when I invite some, well, when I invited a girl on a date, I think all that stuff can be left into the bedroom. I receive sexual explicit photographs. Oh, fuck. No. Okay. Engage in sexually explicit activity. Oh, video chat. Oh, fuck. Now you got me thinking. I don't think so. I have video chatted with some of the girls I've dated. I don't think I've ever done that type of stuff though, right? We're going to leave it as no. Cheated on a significant other during a relationship. Oh, no. Well, first of all, I've never been in a relationship. And I don't think I would have the willpower to do so. Purchase contraceptives. Yes. Gave oral sex. No. Received oral sex. No. Ingested someone else's... Ingested someone else's genitalia secretion. No. Used a sex toy with a partner. No. I don't... I don't get... I don't get them, personally. Spent the night with a... I have. I spent the night with a... We're not... It's not Sarah this time. Let's call her um Rachel. I spent the night at Rachel's dorm, which is I apparently I found out in the morning is a really bad. Well, obviously, morally it's a very bad thing, but also due to campus rules, it was also a really fucking bad thing, dude. Cause uh she obviously stayed in the um the women's dorm at the time. I was so raring to go. I didn't stop and think, man. This is kind of bad. So that's how that is. They walked in on or while engaging in a sexual act. I have never done that. Or, uh, um, no, 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 no. Kicked a roommate out to commit a sexual act. No, no. Ingested alcohol in non-religious... <laughs> never. I would never ingest alcohol in a non-religious context. <laughs> right, guys? Played a drinking game. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, if you guys remember my... Well, okay. Played some... I've played several drinking games in college, right? I've also played drinking games. Because, obviously, the last time I played a drinking game was when I played um Shotgun Roulette, where I shotgun a beer every time I died. That was... I shotgun five beers in 20 minutes. I felt terrible. But the beer was pretty good. I, I, I like the beer. But outside of the stream in college, I don't remember the last time I ha I played a drinking game with friends. So we're, but overall, yes, I've I've played. Been drunk, <laughs> shit, yeah. Faked sobriety to parents or teachers. So interesting story. I've never faked sobriety. One time, I had a half a bottle of gin. I'm like, you know what? It's almost done. I'm just gonna kill it, right? So, you know, I was. I was playing with friends in League of Legends while I killed half a bottle of gin. I was playing AD carry. Now, first of all, you guys know are well aware. I am shit at AD carry. I don't have the mechanics, right? I was playing Tristana. In a 50-minute game, I had 12 CS. That's bad, right? The last I remember was I woke up in my bed and I started vomiting violently, right? So, obviously, my parents came in and like, oh my god. They bought me a bucket. And I just started vomiting into the bucket. So, I've never... 
faked sobriety to parents or teachers. In fact, I think I'm very upfront on how when I go drinking actually with my parents at the time. It's a very memory loss due to alcohol. So I've only been blackout drunk like twice. Once at home with gin, legal legends, right? I told you guys. And another was in co- Oh, I don't remember that night in college actually. I don't know if it was because I was blackout drunk or it's so long, it's so, you know, it was ages ago, right? I don't remember things ages ago, right? I don't think it was blackout drunk. Oh fuck, that's really bad. I don't remember that night actually. I, I remember me and three of my friends, we were at the bar and we just started drinking and having fun. Oh fuck, I don't remember that. I don't remember. All I remember was I woke up in one of their dorm rooms. Wait, oh. That. Okay, we're gonna click that as a yes. Use tobacco. I've never used tobacco. I think smoking is actually really disgusting, incredibly addictive. And it's such a disgusting habit, right? Use marijuana. We're just gonna click yes. We're not gonna dive into that, but yes. Use this drug stronger than marijuana. No. Holy shit. You know, I joke a lot about, you know, crack and meth because it's kind of funny, right? Let's be honest. But I think the hardest stuff I've ever had was literally marijuana. I haven't even tried, like, what, weed brownies? And I do want to try them because, look, weed is pretty cool, right? I And I love brownies. And personally, I think the best time I've ever had smoking was when I was also drinking and having and eating pizza with the, fr with the boys, right? Because, like, after a we smoked a little bit. We had some beer. We went downstairs, ordered pizza at the local place, and we walked back up to the apartment to play, vi uh, what was it, video games and gays? That was one of the most fun nights I've had. But no, we haven't used anything strong than marijuana. Use methamphetamine. <laughs> Holy shit. No, I've never yet used that. That shit will. Oh, wait, why did I click that? No, no, yeah, that shit will fuck you up, man. Let's be honest. Don't use hard drugs, boys. Use soft drugs. Marijuana, in fact, it's not even a drug, it's a plant. And drink, well, okay, I, I'm a terrible example. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't do marijuana. Been sent to the office for a principal, dean, or judicial affairs representative for discipline. Okay, yeah. So, in grade school, I used to get into a lot of fights. I didn't start to mellow out until high school. But in grade school, I used to get into fights. Been put on this probation or suspended. I've never been put on probation or suspended. I think at most it's like a... They gave me a stern talking to, and then every morning I had to come in early and help I ugh, fucking clean up the fucking classroom and all that. Urinate in public. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, sometimes when there's no, when you're out on a long trip, like on vacation and stuff, and there's no nearby bathroom, you like, man, you fucking get behind a dumpster and you just start, you know, letting it rip. I've only pissed. I haven't shit. Because I, shitting in public versus pissing in public, that's very different. Gone skinny. Too. I've never gone skinny. Gone streaking. I've never gone streaking. These actually scare me. Public nudity actually genuinely scares me. Because <laughs> I'm like, man, these are the most intimate parts of you. And you're like, yo, what up? Check out my dick. I can't do that. Seen a stripper. I've never seen a stripper. And here's my philosophy with like strip clubs and all that. I don't get the point of getting the car started if I'm not going to go out for a drive. You guys get what I'm saying, right? I'm not. I don't go to strip. I ironically, I live like three miles away from a strip club. But I would never go to a strip. Club. I've actually dropped my boss off. So, oh God. Okay. So when the big bosses of my workplace flew in, did the whole meeting. I drove them around the place, and at the end of the night, they wanted to go to such establishments. I dropped them off, and I went home. Not my type of thing. Had police call on you. I don't think I've ever had police call on. I've called the police on people, but I've never had run from the police. I've no, I've never ran from the police. Had the police question? Yes, I've had the <sighs> the last time I've had the police question me. Oh, well, okay. First of all, it's nothing serious. I'm not a fucking criminal or anything, right? I'm an upsetting citizen of the United States of America. The last time I was confronted by a police officer, I was speeding, right? I after work, I worked a long day. I did some extra hours. I went to grab dinner, and I'm like, man, the day is almost over. I want to get home quickly, eat my food, and watch, you know, play some video games or watch some YouTube videos, right? So I was speeding. 
I was speeding home. I was doing 55 in like a, I think a school zone. And then, you know, after I got out of the school zone, fucking, I hear lights and sirens behind me. I fucking pulled over, you know, cop, super nice. We went through our thing. I didn't get an actual ticket. I got a, uh, I forgot what it was, a probation or a mark or something, which is like, you know, if you don't break any other speeding laws or traffic laws, we will take, it, you won't get charged and all that stuff with a ticket or whatnot. I forget what it was, but I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay. That's really cool. Super nice officer. But yes, had the police handcuff. I've never had the police handcuff me. That actually, we been arrested. I've never been convicted of a crime. Nope. Convicted of a felony. Nope. Committed an act of vandalism. Oh, fuck. Okay, yes, I've committed an act of vandalism. Nothing too crazy, right? I just, back when I lived with my parents, my room was literally right across the side entrance of the neighbor's house, right? And we were like, it was, we were like this fucking close, right? There was, it was literally a walkway between my bedroom window and the side entrance of my neighbors. And this guy, my neighbor, super hard to talk to, super rude. His side entrance, he left that light on 24-7. So, you know, I, I, I did everything I could to, you know, shut out the light so I can actually get some fucking goddamn sleep. It got so bad to the point where I'm like, you know, I had to make sure he was at work. So I, I grabbed a broom from the closet and I just like, you know, snuck by the side of the house. And I was just like, just start, start jamming the fuck out of that light until I knew it was broken. And I just walked back into my house. After that, he was so lazy. He never replaced the light. It was broken since the day I moved out. Had sexual intercourse. We've been through this. Yes, yes. Had sexual intercourse with three or more, three or more times in what? Bro, what? Who has the energy to do that? When I was much younger, probably. But I don't. Who? Yeah, three or more times in a single night. That's crazy, dude. Like back then, when I was much more younger and I had the you know the, the the drive, if you will, I think like most maybe one a day. I didn't even do it once a day. Sixty nine questions. <laughs> That's clever. That's clever. But no, I've never had three or more times in one night. That's that that is actually insane. If you have the energy to do that, had sexual intercourse ten or more times. Uh, no, it's actually under ten. I'm not gonna say the exact number, but it is under ten. I'm not a very active person, I'll be honest. Have sexual intercourse in four or more positions? We'll, we'll say yes. In one of the instances, you know, every 10 minutes, we change things up a bit. Have sexual intercourse with a stranger or a person you met within 24? I've, no, I, I, I'm a very closed off person. Like, yo, I gotta know I, uh, I'm chill with another guy. Oh, God, I gotta stop using those words. I gotta be chill. I gotta be chill with the fully grown woman before we approach those situations right <laughs> so within it's gonna take more than 24 fucking hours for me usually it's uh by the fourth or fifth date then you know when if things have progressed to that extent then yeah and of course in a motor vehicle no i don't know i don't even know how that would logistically work well actually no okay so like my car you can put down the back seat super low so technically yeah you can but i i just don't get I don't I don't get it personally and it, once again it's back to the public thing I public nudity is not my type of thing right and of course outdoor no 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 back to public hold on hold on hold on so this is interesting it says intercourse outdoors and intercourse public so like outdoors being like outside right but public means there are motherfuckers around you in the general vicinity I regardless both of them know has sexual intercourse on a swimming pool or hot tub no no once again it's back to the water thing i don't know it's something it's something about water that we can't get the works going i guess do, can people actually do that i don't know man i had a sexual intercourse and a bet not belong to you or your part i gotta think now i actually gotta dig back into the mind palace to think here obviously we've had it in i've done it in my bed and the bed of my partner i don't think i've ever done it in a bed that didn't technically belong to us well technically in her dorm room the bed doesn't belong to her well not i mean yeah because it belongs to the campus technically but like she that that is her bed so technically it, in a sense it is her bed so i don't think i've ever done it in a bed that didn't belong to me or my partner 
Has sexual intercourse with a non-participating third party in the same room? Fuck, that's why. Oh, wait. Okay, so, like, you know, you're in the dorm room, and then you're, uh... Your partner's roommate is just right there, and you're like, hey, what up, Stacy? Anyway, me and Amber are just gonna get it on right there. All fake names. All fake names, by the way. Just, I don't need that to be very fucking clear, right? But no, I've never done that. It, it seems, join the Mile High Club. No, I barely even fucking fly. It's too expensive, but I, does it change anything? I don't think so, right? The, like, does the altitude change? No, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Participate in a booty call with a partner whom you were not in a wish. I've never done that. Like, uh, I, I have to be really comfortable and super close with someone when I, in order for me to approach them in such manner. So, like, if a random girl, oh, shit, I think if one of the girls I did it and called me for a booty call, I've never participated in a booty call. But if a girl I used to date in college all of a sudden called me up for a booty call, I think I may take the drive for such things. It, it dude, it's been a while, man. It's it's been a while since college days. I like, <laughs> travel 100 or more miles for improper personal sexual intercourse. God no, over a hundred miles. That's crazy. Had sexual intercourse with part with a partner three or more age year. No, no. I think the biggest gap I've ever had is maybe two years. Yeah, yeah. I was a senior. She was a sophomore in college. Yeah. Sexual intercourse with the virgin. I don't know actually. I've never. I never asked them this sort of question because I feel like it's you know that's something they usually want to keep to their own chest unless they're willingly want to share it. But like all the partners. Okay, when I say all the partners, it's not a lot. All right, I'm not a man slut. I've had intercourse under ten times, and it's only been with three partners. I don't know if they're a virgin. We're, we're gonna assume no. Has sexual course without a condom. No, no, no. Oh my god. Always fucking wear a condom, guys. Stay protected. Because you don't want any other... Any unfortunate mishaps. Had an STD test due to unreasonable suspicion. Uh, no. Wait. Unreasonable suspicion. I don't think so. Every time I've done the deed, I, uh... I, I, you know, eventually do go to the doctor and get everything, you know, checked out and all that stuff. Everything came out all right. So I've never also had an STD, STI. <laughs> had a threesome. No, that. How would you? How would that work? Okay, I mean, obviously, I've seen videos, but logistically and like in real life, outside of corn, how would a person approach such a thing? That seems. I think you'd have to have a golden tongue in order to convince multiple parties to participate in that. Some in that, right? Attended an orgy. Oh God, no! I I would feel feel so uncomfortable as other, if other people watch me. You know. Yeah, I'm starting to think I'm a really, really shy person. Which I mean, yeah, I'm generally a fairly shy person, except when I stream. And when I stream, I got, I'm like a I have this burst of fucking energy. But when we're approaching these type of topics, I'm like I'm a I'm I'm. Quite, I am a fucking clam hunting in my goddamn shell, dude. Had two or more distinct acts of sexual intercourse with two or more people within. No, 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 no. That is. No, that hell no, dude. That's. Uh, had sexual intercourse with five or more partners. Oh, like, okay, not all at once, but in different. I Like I, I mentioned earlier, three. So, no, not five. Been photographed or filmed during sexual intercourse by yourself or others? No, 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 no. Like I said, it's. I, I, I have a fear of my most intimate. My most intimate stories when I hero sharing it with you guys, you know, that's generally fine, right? Sharing it with the dudes, that's cool. But like to have video evidence of that, that's entirely different. So no, I've never had period sex. No, had anal. S <sighs> yes. Had pre had a pregnancy scare? No, no, no. Always remember, boys. Always stay strapped. Impregnated someone or have been impregnated? I've. Never impregnated someone, and I've never been impregnated. Paid or been paid for sexual? Oh, okay. Here's the thing. I never, ever will believe in paying for sex. That's pretty much it. Committed an act of voyeurism. What is voyeurism? Hold on, I'm just gonna look this up. We're gonna open up on this mysterious window. Voyeurism, a practice of getting sexual pleasure from watching others when they are naked or engage in sexual activity. Oh my God, no. Oh my god, that's actually scary. 
Committed an act of incest. Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. Never committed. I've never committed an act of incest. Engaged in bestial. That's a fucking. That's a wild question. No, 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 no. I've never engaged in bestiality. All right. So calculate my score. Oh god. I mean, overall, I okay. So, you know, I think we're pretty pure, right? We're pretty. We're pure. Sixty-four. Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that good? Is that good? I don't know, man. I don't know. But hey, this is our score. I hope you guys had fun. Dude, I am literally sweating from all the shit I shared today.